All right, we're the yellow player and the map is Europe. We've only got one over here in Iceland, none over here in the British Empire. Only one in Scandinavia. We've got five over here in Russian Empire, but you've got four there is a lot. Only one in the Orient, two here in North Africa, three in West Africa, two here in Italy, nothing in Spain, only one in France. We have four here in Central Europe, which is a three point hold for plus five, which would be pretty nice to have. So I think we in fact will go for this because that plus four there actually connects nicely. So we're going to go ahead and hit this right here. And then we're going to fortify this four into here as well. And we're going to go for that plus five fairly early. Try and secure that next turn if we can. Rush is looking very strong with a two point hold. Unfortunately, I don't want to fight uh, that purple four for it. That's a strong four there. If Magenta goes somewhere else, I could still try for that. We'll see where Magenta goes. If they don't mess with that, I might go for it. Ooh, Magenta's not going for it. They're going for this plus four. Ooh, they secured the plus four this turn, and they use the finances from that plus four to go over to here. I still don't know if I really want to try and fight them for that plus seven. To be fair, they have to go through two, five, six, eight troops to get it. Green going for uh, Iceland here in the newer corner. The noob corner, it's called. Rest in peace, those two troops. They get that right away. They're going to get a plus five pretty quick, but so am I. There's only a two point. There's a one point hold. Ooh, there's so much better. It's a one point hold. All right, you're just, you're only spammy emo guys, quiet you. Well, they want to do a trucey. Okay, oh, no truce, no truce between those two. Wait, do I relocate and go for this plus five for myself? Oh, do I take advantage of the fact that blue and green went to war for this one point hold plus five and I go for it as well? I wish this two wasn't here so I could just fortify through. I'm not gonna get that many troops. Did, oh, I think blue just left. They're gonna become a bot. <laughs> They're mad that that failed, which means I only have to worry about angering green and going for it. Problem is, I'm only going to get, what, six troops, five troops? I don't have enough to get in there. I could break them at the least. Yeah, plus five. I mean, if can I get all the way through with a bit of luck and actually break them? I have to go through this first. I don't know. That's, you know, no, we, we don't, we don't. We, in fact, do not. We instead go ahead and get our plus five and we go for that later. The bot may break me. Hopefully blue does not try to attack my three there. They could if they want to. But it's a bot. The bot will probably just mess around over here or in here and leave that alone if I'm lucky. You're a bot, right? You're not a bot. You're still here. Red not actually going for North Africa, just moving into the Orient for that nice little plus six there. I don't mind them getting a plus six on the Orient because I've got a plus five on Central Europe. I think a turn before they do. So that's not a problem for me. Plus eight for Magenta because they got plus four. They could break me. But then you and I would just throw hands at each other and we both would lose eventually. If the blue's a bot, they won't mind me taking Scandinavia. If I take Scandinavia, that's eight right there. I'd rather have this plus five that's a one point hold, honestly. All right, they're just trying to match me there. They're like, hey, yo, don't break me. I won't break you. I think I think they just want to chill and vibe. Magenta wants to be a homie, I think. Ooh, and there's oh, they're trying to get that out of there. So the, Magenta just wants to chill here. They're not they're not even looking at uh, Russia yet. All right, so green, go ahead, go and gonna hit that there. Try and get, yeah, keep going. Spend all your troops, make yourself weaker. That way I can go through and take that from you. And you'll be too weak to effectively self-destruct on me very well. Hopefully that's good for us, I think. Did blue actually, yeah, yeah, blue did become a bot. Okay, good. Blue became a bot and they're gonna try and fight over here for this. I hope they stack nothing here so I can easily go through here and get all this. Like fortify to here or not at all. Don't make me break through a two or a three over here. They're fighting over there, that's fine. Ah, you would, you stupid bot. You would, you would, you bot. You, you bot. You would make this harder for me to do, but I'm still gonna do it. I'm still gonna do it. Oh, you lost one troop, that's good. We're gonna go ham over here. Lost three, tragic. Emotional devastation. But we are gonna get this, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. We get this. We get these. We get these. All right. And then we fortify, I guess, this back over here. We're gonna lose that plus five. Someone's gonna break that. Probably magenta going through here, break it, or green working their way up, or somebody. That's fine. I'd rather have a plus five with a one point hold than a plus five with a three point hold. All right, so red is going to go for the Orients here and they're going to get it. They're going to get their plus six. The bot, actually, the bot probably breaks me, not Magenta. I mean, Magenta goes first, but the bot will probably want to hit this and hit that. I need green to get eliminated quickly. That way they won't come back and slam me with cards on a grudge match. Magenta stacking eight over here and breaking red. They don't like red having a plus six right next to them, but they're okay with me having a plus five right next to them. That is strange. What a weird move. Maybe because maybe because they saw me go to war with green or maybe they don't want to anger me. 
or that's that's so weird or maybe they're 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 posturing to break me next turn they're they had to pick who to break this turn they chose red because uh, even if they break me here i could still hit have plus five here to get them back i've got like the weight to throw around kind of feels like territorial io where like once you get big enough and you got the numbers people get scared to attack you because they they know that you could retaliate and destroy them i think that's going on here okay green's still here they didn't leave Blue takes this, and they probably break that. Oh, they don't break that? I'm gonna get a plus 10. I thought they're gonna break that, and I'll get just a plus five. That's insane that you just let me have that. That's actually crazy pants. Well, we're just gonna fortify this up a little bit. Do one of those. Hey, oops, I put all my troops there. Oh, well. Go ahead and break the bot here. Don't want you having that. And then I guess we fortify. Yeah, just kind of even these out a little bit. I imagine Magenta's gonna break me. I want them breaking to be expensive. Plus, Red's gonna be mad at them. I understand why Green didn't break me. They don't have, like, they couldn't get to me. The bot is a bot, so bot, sometimes bots will break you, sometimes they won't. Red's not in a position to break me. I guess Red, I mean, Red's got their own problems with Magenta. Basically, the only reason I'm getting away with this is because green and blue went to war, and then Magenta picked a fight with red, and so I'm just kind of like chilling. Magenta's gonna break red again! Alright, they're definitely gonna break me now, right? There's no way they let me hold a plus 10 to their plus 4. There's no way. Once I, I should, yep, there it is, there it is. Okay, okay. That's, that's what I expect. I think Magenta did that in the wrong order. I think they should have broken me last turn, and then red this turn. I think's what they should have done. That's fine. I don't worry about that plus five. In fact, I regret stacking the seven there. I should just like let them break it up cheaper and I could work on Scandinavia and have a two point hold for plus eight. All right, so this player is still here. I imagine they're gonna be holding a grudge on me, right? Green is going for their plus four. Maybe they're not the grudge holding type and maybe they just want to uh, stay alive. Ooh, here's the thing. I don't really want green to recover in strength because a lot of people in this game will hold grudges and either self-destruct right away or buy their time, try to get stronger and stronger and stronger, and come back and self-destruct on you later. That's my concern. I almost think I'm better off going in, breaking them, so they don't get that plus four, keep them as weak as possible. That way they can't come back and like self-destruct slam on me three quarters of the way through the match. There's a lot of troops here. Three, five, six, seven. I'm gonna need most of these to do this. I wanna put uh, two here. I don't know if this is enough to get the job done, but we're gonna try. We're gonna go ahead and first just get our thing here. Go ahead and get our little Bonus, I, if I can get lucky with the... Ah, come on. Click the buttons better. Stop it. Oh, I can't reach. I'm stupid. I was supposed to put there. I keep forgetting these don't connect. Why? What's wrong with my brain? All right, no Scandinavia because I'm a doofus. I made a mistake earlier today when I was practicing. You break you. I don't want you having that bonus. Not when you're going to come back and destroy me later. I could have had my Scandinavia there, but I just... For, I don't know why my brain thinks that Sun Sunsvall connects to Finland when it clearly doesn't, but <laughs> whatever. We'll, we'll survive. Hopefully Magenta will ease up off my back. I'm getting plus five. You're getting plus four. You should be okay with that. That's only a one point difference. That should be acceptable to you. And look at Red. He's got, I mean, I guess I have 50 troops. So they got 39, but they also traded in. So, I mean, they traded on four. Okay. All right. So they're going to push in here. They've got a one, two, three, four point hold. Four points is a lot to hold on. That's a lot of points Magenta can break you from if they want to break you. It's weird that Magenta is so aggressively trying to break people instead of trying to gather more territories himself. It's a very interesting way of playing. Maybe that's like an advanced way of playing that I'm unaware of. Hmm. If blue doesn't trade in, I could try to eliminate them for cards. Debatably worth it. Honestly, I kind of prefer them as being the chaos factor on the board right now. Uh oh, that's scary. That's probably coming my way. That 21 stack might be going straight to grab this quarter from me, and I can't stop it. No, they don't. They're trying, oh, they're setting up for an elimination. They want, they're, they're not thinking in terms of bonuses, they're thinking in terms of eliminations. They're, they're focusing on the fact that it is indeed progressive. Okay, okay, I can dig it. Green just wants to keep trying to grab their little bonus there. Still a player. The blue trades in, so it's not worth it to eliminate the bot right now. We don't care about eliminating the bot. So they only have one card, and they've got 27 troops. Green's now easier to eliminate. Ooh. Yeah, the more green gets smushed down in one corner, easier for us to take them out. I am kill guarding blue, though, is a thing. Uh, you know what? Maybe kill guarding blue is better than having the plus three bonus. Force trade here. Use the three horses. Why not? Get them out of here. We eliminate green for two. I don't think it's worth it. I think, you know, I'd rather just have the bonus. I'd rather just have these bonuses, honestly. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We do this. And we uh, increase our bonuses. Make something hard for Magenta to break through there. I'm going to call that good. And move this nine over to here. Magenta could go break my plus five if they want to. I think Magenta's focusing on eliminations right now. I'm not sure going for Scandinavia was the play, but eh, could be three or four more turns yet. Could pay it off. Maybe Kilgar and the bot would have been better. Unless the bot decides to start fighting me back there. 
Looks like Red is going to try and... Ooh, yep. Red, go ahead and break in uh, the Dynaric Alps there for uh, Magenta. No more plus four for you. And they move away. I'm not sure Magenta's strategy of, like, breaking us and not getting much themselves was going to work out super great for them. Yeah, they're trying to posture for eliminations right now. They're not worried about breaking anymore. They want to eliminate. Take advantage of the fact that's progressive. I did not break you, unfortunately. But you're not really posturing to take revenge on me yet, so that's good for me. You're attacking Magenta. I'm just getting a card. I need to start looking at eliminating. Where are the bonuses at? 15. Probably worth it to eliminate somebody now. Blue is pretty doable to eliminate. I'd get three cards. I need to do a double elimination, but then I get ganged up on. Honestly, keep the bot alive. Try to do a double elimination of green into magenta if I can, but they're... It's the problem is every so spread out across the board is hard to do. Magenta's be the easiest one to eliminate. Three cards. Oh, I don't have a card trade right now. Hmm. I'm not gonna have time because I'm thinking too slow. Next turn. We set up for next turn. So we have eight here to take you out there. And... That's enough to take that out down there, I think. Maybe one more just in case. Just posture for eliminating when the next time comes. I do need to get a card here, so let's go ahead and uh, let's just put uh, the rest of these here. This can attack here, like so. And then fortify back over to here. And now I would like to eliminate Magenta to get one less player on the board. Take their cards if they don't have a card trade on three. Use that to then try to eliminate green, who's over here and here. Ooh, they're going to take out my eight there, so it's hard for me to eliminate over there. That's a good play on their part. Or they just, or they just don't trust me on their borders. That's a possibility, too. I need to chain a double elimination, try to get two or three card trades in a single turn and get a massive advantage. Because if I take out the two weak players right now, red and magenta probably getting up on me. Mm, fortifying down there. So what does magenta do? Hopefully just card trades. Please don't have a card trade on three. If not, I'm in a tougher spot. No card trade on three is huge for us. That's great. They're trying to get a card. Good, good, good. So this eight takes out that four, 99% chance. Stack one more to guarantee it. Stack like three here to get this. And then we go for blue afterwards. I should hit blue first and go through like this. I could just go through hit all this. I could try to get triple elimination one turn. This is hard. Every so spread out. All right, blue, the bot going for that. I need to take out like three in one turn, there won't be one red. It's gonna be hard to do. All right, here we go. All right, focus, focus, focus. Give me those cards. Trade them in. Lovely, thank you. Give me like a bunch more over here. Give me a couple more over here. And give me a lot more over here. And then we're gonna go for magenta first if I can. Get so lucky to get you out of here. Thank you. And let's just go ahead and get some of this over here as well. Hit this, put... Uh, uh, that many there. Hope for the best. You hit this. I need to take you out. Gotta go. Quick, quick, quick. Get them out of here. We go the roundabout way here. Gotta go faster in my turns here. Quicker, quicker. Get the other guys as well to make eliminations easier in time it comes for us there. Luckily, I got that 72% because I moved my slider. Hit this. Alright, good. That's one. Uh, blue will be the next one to get. And then we gotta try to get green. Oh, the turn timer makes this hard. We trade in. We need to get blue here. This would be the stack to do it. Okay, I get a triple elimination here. Let's slide this slider. We gotta go quick here. Come on. Gotta do it just right. Just right. Triple elimination to make sure we guarantee the 1v1 against red. There we go. Now I need to get green. I put some on the 9 and then some on the 8. There we go. And yeah, give me that. Make sure this is uh, enough for a win there. We stack these here. And now we hit you like so. We go for, yeah, yeah, thank you for saying well played. We get the triple elimination in a single turn. That way we can uh, 1v1 red with a dominant advantage here. There we go. And now I have more troops than red and a card trade. I don't know if, we, I don't think I have time to get the quad elimination. No, we don't, have, we, don't, we, don't we don't get quad, but we can try. Uh, yeah, we go and keep working on you. That's fine. And see if we can do as much damage to you as possible. Get all the things cooking here. Uh, let's have this hit over. Come on, hit over there. Get him out of here. Uh, I can't. I can't take those turns. That threes there. We can't get him this turn, but it, we can make it a lot harder for them to do a thing. Keep their ten trapped for now. Um, keep pushing through all of these over here. Keep working on them little by little. Mess them up over here. A really, really good turn. Took a lot of thinking to line it up, but this is really hard for them to come back from. This is a brutal. Thing for them to try to come back from. Maybe we can fortify this 10 over to here to 
stop them from breaking my West Africa. They only have 20 troops. They probably have a card trade, but there's probably not a lot they can do with that card trade. 35 troops. Can you outplay me? I have the numerical advantage, but if you are extremely good at your micro and have really good strategy, you can outplay me. I have won from situations where I had a massive num numerical disadvantage by outplaying the other player. Let's see. Do you have what it takes? You break me here, and then this 23 goes around and breaks everything I have as well. Luckily, I have a card trade on 5. Ooh, you go around the 11. Well done. They Strategy-wise, they know how to go around and break me. Speed-wise, I think they might be a little on the slow side. If this person had faster micro, I think I could be in trouble. But their speed's a little lacking, so we might be okay. They're doing a good job of breaking me, though. Luckily, I have a card trade on 5. Getting the triple elimination was key to make sure we didn't end up in some forever stalemate situation. Breaking me again. They're going to break almost everything. Ran out of time, though. They're trying to fortify back. 27 troops. And we are going to... Oh, card trade here. Thank you. Card trade for even more. Put this up to, like, I don't know, that many. And then stack uh, the rest right here. And try and, like, chase the way back. Chase everything back. All right. Gotta go fast. All the clicks. All the clicks. Slam the enter key. So loud. So loud. I forgot about that three. All right. Well, that's unfortunate. Forgot about that three again, but I can kind of get a bunch of the rest of their stuff and try to fortify in the way of the three and block it in so they can't do too much to me there. I think we'll be okay. Hit them like this. All the troops. Could have had this turn, but I forgot about that three again. That clever little hidden three. All right. No car trade for them, so they can't really do anything. 84 troops. <laughs> Insane value. Hit them with a good game. Well played. And then we attack and take them out. There it is. You'll love to see it. And I have plenty more videos you can watch too. See you in the next one.